please forgive me. What you saw truly happened. But the gods bear me witness that I was not myself. I, I don't know what came over me. The gods forbid that I could ever think of committing such a taboo. If it was not led against my will and absence of my senses, I beg you, please. I beg you, Biko, 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 no, Biko, no. Thank you. You know, I truly love you. And I love you too. But the gods are not in favor of our love. Because had it been, it's another offense. I would have found some reasons to forgive you. But the gods forbid our love. If not, it wouldn't have happened. I can't forgive you. It's, there's no way I can accept it. Look, our marriage is in three gay market days. Everybody knows that you and I are husband and wife. You can't do this to me now, please. So you're still talking about our relationship and marriage preparation? After what just happened? No. Our marriage will no longer hold. And I don't want to see you again. Ever. Can I ask you a question? What is it? Why did you marry Papa? Huh? Why did I marry your father? Yes. Why do you ask? I just want to know. You know, bef before any maiden accepts a man's marriage proposal, she must have seen something about him that will make her accept that proposal. So I want to know, what is that thing about Papa that, you know, that you saw and accepted his proposal? What? Why are you saying all this? Mama, all my life in this house, since I was born, I have not seen any good thing that Papa has done. It is either trouble here, one act of wickedness there, or some sort of evil. What are you saying about Papa? Eh? I want Pago. I want Nagio. You came because. Your daughter. Did I call your 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 name in this matter? I want to ask you who is your wife. Mind yourself, oh, mind your business. Apologies, okay. You shouldn't have said such things about your father. Mama, why won't I say it? I'm just asking a question. There's nobody in this village that has said any good thing about Papa. Why would somebody? Why would Papa be enjoying people dreading him? Is that how he wants to live the rest of his life? Um, Oluchi, may the gods of our land forbid you for the things you say about Papa. Mm -mm. Eh? Mm -mm. How dare you? How dare you say evil about Papa? Okuma na jakodo. Eh eh. Mbaa usu kwe no. Okuma na jakodo. Mbaa usu kwe no. Okuma na jakodo. Mbaa usu kwe no. Tase a swa. I'm no man. Ye se ba fe chapo. Matu. Kwa ozo. Hey. Wop him. Cheke leke. Yeah, no sasu. Mame. Come and pound this pepper. It's okay, it's okay. Nkem sit. Nes, she must pound this pepper. Alu she luwa muso. Nkwa bia. Alu she luwa muso. Luwa muso. Aku na afuga no. Eh? Dile nicha. Aku na afuga kwa no mazia. It's okay, Alu she. But you couldn't have said such things about your father. Mama, leave me alone, Biko. There's nothing good about Papa. Oh, kwe, kwe, gini eme. If I say what will happen. Ozuko. I'm not happy. Ozuko. Everybody is saying one bad thing about him or the other. Kini ho. It's okay. He's the only man in the village. He's ready. Bia, bia, bia. Young woman, come. Uh, what is your name? I'm a Nemma. I'll be DK's wife. Oh, I thought as much. Uh, where are you coming from? Now, as you can see, I am coming from the farm. Mm. 
Which of the farms? The one next to the river. <laughs> the gods have saved you that you are not coming from the land near the Okosisi. No, what happened? The land near the Okosisi also belongs to my husband. Mm. I hope you are not trying to involve yourself in the land dispute between your husband and I. When you get home, tell him that I, Akonye Wetal, said he should stop claiming ownership of that land because it belongs to me. He should desist from having anything to do with that land because no physician can cure E.B., which is older than his age. Hmm. Okay, I will tell him. Good. Makonagarao, yarao. Nena. Okay, You don't have to do this to yourself. <laughs> you have refused to tell me what you did to this young man. That made him withdraw his interest in you. You waste most of your time. Grieving. And will not tell me what happened even when I plead with you. May the gods forbid. You can live without anybody. You will not lose your life. You can live without him. You can live without anybody except for the gods. If Nedo decides to break his engagement with you and will not change his mind, then that is your destiny. You two are not meant to be together in the first place. We are meant to be with each other. Even the gods! Bear me witness that I cannot live without him. And Mama, if the gods truly know me, then they will know that I cannot survive without him. Calm down. Don't tell me what happened. Tell me what you did to him that made him take such a hasty decision. Talk to me. I am in the dark. So Akonye Wetho does not want to let the sleeping dog lie. Huh? He goes about looking for people's trouble in this village. And now he thinks that it is my own turn to receive his trouble. Hey! My father Ubaku Zuku might have been a gentle and a cool man, but he gave birth to me, a lion. I am going to go straight to his house now and feed him with his trouble. Oh, Obi, Biko, calm down. Biko, don't do anything out of anger, please. Obin Biko, you know why? Just calm down. Biko, Biko, no, no. Eh? Obin Biko, no, you hey, know why? Hey, hey, hey! And you, woman, for delaying to give me this information on time, your own punishment awaits you when I return. Obin Biko, Akoye Wetal is a bad man, no. Don't confront him. Hey! Open up my mouth, okay, yeah, Eh? Obin Biko, you know why your Biko is a Akoye Wetal. Okay, Dinjo. Akoye Watalo! Where is Akoye Watalo? Where is the man that said that trouble is his first name? I am here to crown him with it. Hey. Where is he? Come out and test me. Obidike, what is it? What happened? Why are you shouting in my don't house talk this to morning? Me, woman, and don't ask me any questions. Let Akoye Watalo come out here and face me. I am ready to give him a full of trouble. Uh -huh. Jimmy, why are you? Why is your temper so high? Major Jonathan is very early in the morning. Young woman, I am not here to explain my temper. Let Akonye Wetel come out here and face me. Or is he afraid now? And who is the backing dog that has come to my father's compound to make trouble? Obidike, how dare you come to our house to make trouble? If you know what is good for you, 
Leave. Young woman, will you go back to bed and continue sleeping? I am here to see your father, not you. I said you should leave you back in, dog. Me? You came shut up. Me, Chiano. Go inside. I call you with So you are here? You are here? How dare you say that thing you said to my wife? Huh? Listen, let me tell you something. If you derive joy in giving some people trouble, I am here to tell you that I am different. I am a vulture! And you can't eat my meat. You gave a message to my wife, but I am here to confront you face to face. If I ever see your feet close to my land again, I will tell you that my father, Oba Kuzuku, gave birth to a lion. Let me leave you with the words. And wait till the day that I'll give you action. Fool! Hey! My witch land! Which land again is he talking about? Mama! You should not be asking about which land now. Eh? Obinike has no right to come to her house and confront her in such a manner. I said, shut your mouth and go inside. Asking, go inside. In our water. Eh? What is it? I noticed you've been following me. Can I help you? Um, you, know, you see, I was actually working in my farm and then um, I noticed you. I, I thought you were a spirit, so I decided to follow. But now I can see you. You're actually flesh and blood. You're a human being. Ne, um, what is your name, please? <laughs> my name is Oluchi. Hi, Oluchi. A beautiful name. And the gods actually blessed you with magnificent beauty. Hey, um, I, I'm really sorry. Afam, Afam Bo Obinze. Obinze? Ah, oh, Afam. Are you from this kingdom? I haven't seen you around. You don't seem to be part of this kingdom. I have never seen you around here. Where are you from? <laughs> you see, I get that a lot. I'm actually from this part. It's just that I spent part of my childhood in my mother's clan. Uh, so it's understandable when people see me and call me a stranger. You have seen me. Mm. I am not a ghost. Hmm? Besides, I have something to do in the farm. I need to harvest some farm produce. Oh? Oh, so I draw. Go back to what you were doing. Okay. You need to see cable, you know? Okay. I'm going to see cable now. Oh, you see cable. Talk to us. We are your family. Uh -huh. eh? Much as I know, Nenna is a good woman. Even if she did something wrong, we are all human and we are liable to make mistakes. Forgive her, Obikonu. Eh? Tell us, what, 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 what went wrong? Mom. Look at Oma. Oma, it's My dear. I am your mother. We are all family. Nam, please. If there is anything that's happened between both of you, 
you have to discuss it right here now with your sister and I. We will help settle it. Okay? For all I know, Nena has always been a good girl. So I don't understand this sudden change of mind. Nenaka. Nena is a very close friend of mine. Since the proposed marriage, we've all been happy. Neke Nesi Olisa. Eh? She's been part of this family since you people said we were going to get married. Gezi Hebonka. Please, don't let the enemy come in between both of you. Be cool. Tell us what it is. Let us sort it out. I'm sorry. I can never marry Nena. Why? Why? Okay. I love her. Uh -huh. I love her so much. Kini Mezienu. But the God forbid our love. Therefore, I can never marry her. Eh? Or for him. Her name is Chinasa. She is just too loose. This is my third time of seeing her wallowing with different men inside the bush. She is just too loose. Hey! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What have you come here to do? How dare you tread on my land? Listen to me. If you have come here for any trouble, I will give it to you. <laughs> Obidike, the son of Obak Uzuku, I admire your strength. And courage. You are not anything like your father, but you everything like your grandfather who died before his time. But let me tell you, wisdom demands you know your limits. Know what battle to win and which one to avoid. Akonya were to listen to me. You're nothing but a mere mortal. Deal with you here and now, if you dare me. <laughs> of course, you are full of strength. But let me advise you again. A child who does not know what killed the father. What killed the father? Shaki him. I will not stoop so low to banter words with you. But let me leave this piece of advice. Don't go into the river if you cannot swim. Good day. Pa! I shall wait for your worst. There's nothing you can do to me because I am not afraid of you. Rubbish. Anna, 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 we be on it for. Get out of my land! Get out! Let me, let me, let me see you close to this my land again. I will use this matter to cut off your two legs. Big fool. And I will be in a
Tá. What happened? And you have been out of sight for too long now. What is the problem? I had planned to come and see you. I was even saying that after coming back from the farm, I'll come to your house and see you. So that we will talk. Tell us, what is it? What happened? Now that you're here, let's talk, oh? Mama, I'm in trouble. Nedu has rejected me. Mbamba. Nedu, my own son, he cannot reject you. Tell us what the problem is all about. Eh? What's happened? Just tell us. See, what is it? Yeah, yeah. Eh? Be calm, talk to us. We have asked Nedu, he's not saying anything. I don't know what must have led to him calling off this marriage. Be calm, talk to us. Let us know how we're going to sort this out. Yes. Eh? Hey, mm Obim. -hmm. There's something I want to discuss with you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Go on. It's about Akoye Watala. What about him? Obim. Hmm? Please. Biko. I want you to avoid that man like someone with leprosy. Everybody in this kingdom knows him as a bad man. That man is evil. Please. So, what are you talking about now? Do you want me to be scared of him? No, I, I didn't say so. I want you to be careful with him. I mean, I want you to handle him with care concerning the land disputes we have with him. I suggest, instead of this constant confrontation and quarrel, why not just take the case to the Ugo and elders? Let them look into it and settle it. Besides, everybody in this village knows that the land belongs to us. So I believe they will settle it well. Please. Okay, okay, there's, uh, there's no problem. I have uh, heard all you said, and uh, I am going to do exactly as you've advised. Hmm. Hmm? Done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me feed you. Let me feed you. Let me feed you. Hmm. Let's go, okay. Hello. 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 Nedu. Evil has happened in our land. It has happened. Evil has happened. God's up our land. Why did you let this evil happen to this great our Lord? My eyes have seen my ears. Hello, man, no body. It's in Nena. Nena did what? I saw her in the bush, hanging on the tree. What? They rubbed her to her neck. My Nena. Yes. 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 She's in the bush. Yeah, they are going to tree. She was dangling. Nena. Yes. Yes. Her body. Where? In the bush. Near the Agui tree. Hey! 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 Please talk to me. Eh? Tell me what happened. Because I know that whatever happened that made you take that drastic decision is responsible for Nena's suicide. You love that girl too much. Something must be really wrong. Talk to me. Hi. Please. Talk to me. Be calm. Silence is dangerous. And it will hurt you if you don't talk, if you don't share with anyone. Be calm, one name, talk to me. I don't want to happen to Nena to happen to you. Be calm. Eh? It all started as a rumor. I never believed it. I could not imagine it. 
until I saw it with my very eyes. Shoot your father because of Utuk Lochia. Utuk Lochia, which is sold penny penny at Hama Goodivin. Ndahiaro do je moj. Is that why you want to shoot your father? Ani jiwanya to bedisi. Oka ne melo wanya ne melo nye diama. Wanya bum mano akala onye rato ibi rato. Is that why you want to shoot your father? It's not worth it, my son. Shoot me and you will rot in jail. Iganga, Ngamburoka. Shoot me. Why? Why? It's not worth it, my boy. Eh? What? You, you mean this is what happened? Our father is a cause. I can't believe this. He must have charmed her. I understood that Nina did not choose to sleep with her father by herself. She was obviously bewitched. Hmm. But then there was no way I could continue with the relationship or go ahead to marry her. The gods must have placed a curse on us by giving us such a man for a father. Oh. Hey. There is woman with heart of darkness. I call me a wet alone. Okay, get up. Adam, your face is not familiar. Um, I get that a lot. But the truth is, I am actually from this part. Um, I'm from Ubunkem. I know your name. I asked questions and they told me your name. Oh, so what else did they tell you about me? Uh, well, they told me that you are Olichi's younger sister. Mm. Yes. <laughs> tell me more. Oh, um, you're your natural. Just the right person I'm looking for. Okay, come on. You again. Yeah, I was just asking your sister after you and um, all of a sudden you appear in your beauty. So you've been looking all over for me? Yes, what I've been for? looking all over. Um, I will tell you, but um, where are you going? <laughs> I am going to the market. Okay, uh, let me accompany you to the market. Yeah. You want to accompany me to the market? You want to join me and haggle prizes with other market women? I will do it with all pleasure. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Let's go. This is my first day working with you side by side and it doesn't feel as if you're a stranger. Feels as though I've known you for a very long time. <laughs> the gods are bearing witness that we must be together. That we must remain together. But well, permit me to say that uh, it's actually love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> you have a way with words. And um, you talk about love as if you already have mine. 
Well, I only speak words according to the wishes of my heart. Very well. Yes. I hope your wishes come true. I hope so too. But unfortunately, this is where we part ways. Thank you. No problem. Sorry. Let me help you. Take no, no, this. no, don't worry. I have both of them. Oh. You can carry them? Yes. Nice to see you off a bit. I am fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, when shall I see you again? Um, you said you wanted to tell me something. Um, yes. Thank the gods you remembered. Okay, let us meet under the Oji tree. The one beside the Ukudarawan Mi tree. On Ekedi. After some rice. Uh, I'll find it. Okay. All right. See you. See you too. Bye. I'm going to do it, man. GCK, no? A child that must dance to look at it must first know the move of spirits. The leaf knows the pastor, the pastor knows the man who tied it. Hey, Wale! Obidike, the son of Akuna Uzu. You brought a challenge to my house. I stand on the great shine of Olukulu to accept the challenge. And today I bring destruction upon destruction upon destruction upon destruction on you. You will destroy yourself by yourself, by your own hands. Everything you have will contribute to your destruction until you'll be ruined. And finally, destroyed. Shrakakaka Shimbamba! See that you wanted to go and urinate. When you now came back, your behavior changed. Uh -huh. Is that why you wanted to force yourself on me? Eh? By tradition, I have right over your body. But uh -huh. I never wanted to force myself on you. I wasn't hard on you. Nevertheless, you have to cease from talking to me in this manner. What is wrong with you? Come, come, come. come let's go. Continue. <laughs> Leave me alone now. This is my force. Leave me alone. Michael will get back home. Nama. Wait was well deserved, don't you think so? Of course I think so. <laughs> Look, I could have waited longer with all pleasure. I have waited all my life for this moment. So certainly, the wait is well deserving of you. <laughs> you have a way with words. You make me feel needed. Oboriche, mm -hmm. like I said before, the words that I speak, are sprung from the wishes of my heart. Hmm. Tell me more about these wishes. I yearn for the soothing words from your mouth. Apologia. Let's take a walk mm. while I search the deepest parts of my heart for those soothing words. <laughs> Just for your listening pleasure. spent most of my time today with you and it has been 
very fulfilling. I feel the same way too. And your body? Your body so close to mine feels really good. My body? What about my body? Oh boy, Jay. You know you have an amazing body. <sighs> the gods took time to mold you and they gave you the perfect shape. Well, eventually, this body of mine will belong to a man and I'll have no power over it. Truth be told, I pray to the gods that someday I want this body of yours to belong to me. I cannot wait for that day to come. Mm. I will cherish and adore it. You have spoken to me today at length about how much you love me and how you want all of me for yourself. And I believe they're true words. I am glad my words were well received. I would like you to meet my mom. Yes, I've told her about you already. You did? Yes. But first, I have to go home. I don't want them to start searching for me. Today has been the most amazing day of my life. I can't wait to make you mine. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Are you surprised? To see me and Mazi Akoya Water. Anyway, if you must know, he is my love. And we have decided not to hide it anymore. Nema, have the girls struck you with madness? What's the meaning of all this rubbish that you're saying? If you listen, you will hear me well. I am no longer your woman. As in like henceforth, I belong to him. Thanks. You wicked man. What have you done to my wife? I am not your wife. Are you deaf? And if you must know, this is my four month pregnancy. Belongs to him, not you. Will you cease from this abomination that you're uttering from your mouth? I'm not done talking now. You see that land? Stay away from it. Stay clear from that land. Nonsense. I want. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? This woman with heart of darkness. Hey! Hey! He's so powerful. He's so evil. He's so wicked. Everybody beware. Abidike, you killed your wife. Youth, please, I, I crave your indulgence. Just listen to me and hear what happened. I didn't do this with my clear eyes. It was an evil man that caused all this problem. It's a lie. I saw you when you murdered your wife. Yes. Hey. Oh. There is one man. With heart of darkness, I call Hey! This is an abomination in our land. Hey! Obi what madness drove you into doing this to yourself? To bring a cause in our kingdom. Hmm. 
This is strange. And it has never happened in this land before. This kind of thing has never happened in this village before. It has never happened. Not, not even the entire kingdom. How did it happen? According to the story, madness from the gods moved him with evil rage. And he killed his wife with a couplass. Hey. Now ran off to the bush where he hanged himself. Hey! 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 mama. Hey! 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 a disagreement with Obidike concerning a parcel of land. That's exactly what everybody is saying. Hey! 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 Mama. Oluchi. What is it, Mama? Eh? Why are you crying? Eh? Bikonu. Why don't you talk to me? Can someone talk to me, please? It is the news about Toby BK and his wife. <sighs> Mama, hey, so you mean that you are crying because of that man that murdered his wife? Eh? Did he not deserve to die? See, Obidike was an arrogant man. And every mother deserves to die. Look at the talk of that man that hung himself. Hey! Maybe? Maybe? Where are you going with those bags? Maybe what is happening? I have succeeded in building my own house down the road today. Okay. Huh? I'll be settling down there. Maybe? Maybe. You mean you have been building hot for yourself all this while? How come nobody knew about it? Yes, Mama. Mama, I do not want to put my trust in you. Bearing in mind what happened to me in the past. Mm -hmm. Not so bad, though. It is okay. It is your choice, and we'll have to stick by it. I will escort you to know where your new abode is. Mm -mm. Not so bad, eh? Yes, I don't understand. This is your father's house. And you are the only son of this family. This house is your inheritance. You are not supposed to leave your father's inheritance. Mama, I am not running away. Neither am I deserting my inheritance. My daughter, I have my own house to live in now. This is still my house. It's the world you as well. Hey, hey. Hey. Huh? Papa, no. Uh-huh. Papa, I will, sir. Papa, I am living for the new hut acquired by the squares. Hmm? I, I, I don't get it. I mean, there's a difference between sleep and rest. Is it that you are wired or you built? Papa, however you choose to put it, we are still saying the same thing. Mm. Mm. Anyway, you have taken a decision which is unstoppable. And you are just telling me. That's no problem. But um, you will get my goodwill message soon. Hmm? And a joke, I don't know. And a joke, I don't know. Everybody knows it is not ordinary. Yes! Who does not know that anyone who has a disagreement with Akoye Wetalo usually ends up dead or frustrated? Listen, the problem with Obidike was that he did not know his limit. He should have known that his youthful energy and arrogance is not a match with Akoye Wetalo's witchcraft. Witchcraft? That is the right word for it. 
<laughs> you see, Akwen Watal is a wizard. Even the chief priest of Ogugu fears his handshake. <laughs> you see? You see? According to what I heard, Akoye Wetalo traveled across seven rivers and seven mountains to import his gods and his powers. Therefore, the gods of our land are mesmerized by the powers of his gods. And the medicine men of our land stand no challenge with him. It is said that only a man who has gone to Aaron can tell how many rivers one has to cross before reaching Aaron. And the secrets of Akwe Wetal are far fetched from the medicine men of our land. Even the gods of our land fear him. As a matter of fact, Akwe Wetal has no Dibia he consults. In fact, he is a Dibia himself. Such a man should be feared by all. You see? That's what you are saying. This is a man that everybody needs to be scared of. What is he? When he passes through this way, look for another place. Hey! <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise! <laughs> I know you are surprised to see me with this womb baby. <laughs> My wife, do not be afraid. I am not about taking another wife. Her name is Chinasa and she is Ntantamadu. She belongs to our son, Nedu. <laughs> Papa, yeah. you are full of surprises. <laughs> you are welcome. Huh? I'm sure my brother will like you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Does my son know about this marriage arrangement? And no, no. Does it matter? Eh? If your son is wise, he should appreciate my kind gesture of arranging for a beauty queen for him as a wife. That's the important thing. Can't you see how beautiful she is? Look at her, oh my God, Look at the, 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 the two of your mango mangoes on her chest. What else do you want? I mean, she is so deserving for our son. What I want to know is this, Nai. Does my son know about this marriage arrangement? Bia, Nne. Mama, do you know my son? Um, yes, ma. I mean, who does not know the son of the most industrious man in this That's village? not what I mean. Does he want to marry you? Um, um. Uh, don't, don't, don't bother. Don't bother answering her. Um, Nkem. Papa. Biko. Take her to me. Okay, Papa. Your brother. Okay. Eh? Tell him that this is what I meant. When I told him that he would get my goodwill message. Eh? See how do bari weave. Eh? Ma go to Rugia. Eh? And a joke can turn over. It seems he's not at home. Mm. I'll wait for him. I can't. I can't go. I'll wait. Good. No problem. Okay. Um. You're so lucky to be chosen by my father for my brother. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad you love me at first sight. I don't have a choice. You're my father's choice, so I have to accept you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um. I want to ask you something. What? Do you think your brother will accept me? <laughs> that one? You don't have to bother about that, okay? You are a woman. If he does not like you, you will make him to like you. Or do you think you can't do that? Of course I can. Why not? <laughs> At least I have everything in my kids. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you are so endowed. My brother doesn't have a chance to love you. Okay? 
Um, we have to go now and come back in the evening. Maybe by then he'll be back from wherever he went to. I'll wait for me. Don't worry. I'll wait for my husband. Are you sure about this? Okay, no problem. I'll be safe. Let me know when he's back. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're going to go? Bye bye. sufficient words to describe your beauty. Oh. <laughs> Please sit down, my daughter. Sit down. <laughs> sit. Thank you. Mimi. You are welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Mimi. Get her something to eat. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I don't want anything. I'm not, I don't have the appetite for, I don't have the appetite to eat anything. No, you don't have to say that. You have to learn the tradition of this family you are about to be part of. Yes. Okay, Amy, I'm sorry. I will take whatever you offer me. Good. Get her something to eat from the house. Hey. How long have you known my son? Not too long. And do you love him enough to be your husband? Ne. Robin says he's a very good man. He has a good heart. And I thank the gods they made our path cross. You have answered it all. My mother is Adora, daughter of Nanyalugu from Umuokwe village. And she's married to Mazia Kwanyo Otari. So, Akwanyo Otari is your father? Yes, Mimi. Too long. I was trying to roast the cup. My name is China, sir. Your father sent me to you. Oh. He sent you to come and do what? <clears throat> um, he, he sent me so you will marry me. My husband, I am the providence of the gods for you. Trust me, we are going to be very happy together. You are no more. Turn your face to where your back is facing and leave this place at once. How can you sound like that to your wife? This is not fair. Why? You are not my wife. I can never be your husband. Now go back to the person that sent you. I'm sure he has plans for you. You are the plans that he has for me. How can you reject me like this? You haven't even taken time to look at me very well and you're sending me out. My husband, look at me now. I have 
all it takes. All. I have everything it takes to be your wife. I am a pot full of honey. Stop. Take your hands off me now! I'm your husband, right? I'm your husband. Wait for me. Eh? Wait. No, 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 no. You should have waited for me to break that stupid pot of honey. I'm off here. Let me see your leg here again. Jesus. Ah, my sister. Chinasa, why are you sweating? Is someone after you? No. Chinasa, in this kingdom. <laughs> you know it's not possible now, eh? In fact, I was in a hurry to go home. Let me give them the good news that I have. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, what is the good news? Can you please share it with me? And my sister. I wanted to keep it a secret though. But since you're my friend now, you know that. Yes, please. I am getting married to an industrial soul of this country. <laughs> this is good news. I'm telling you. Please, who is the man? Do I know him? Of course you know him now. Every maiden in this kingdom knows him. They all want to marry him, but he chose me. Oh, Chinasa. Yes. Then tell me. Let me know if... His name will ring a bell. Please tell me. I want to know. His name is Nebu, the son of Mazi Akaunu Wetele. <laughs> My dear, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is good news. I am happy for you. I am even happy for myself. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I can't even wait to get home. Let me tell my parents that somebody is coming to get married to you. Mguan, Mguan, oh. God will help you. God will bring your own for you. Mguan, oh. Thank you, my dear. We'll see you later. No. This can never be. Not when I am still unmarried. <laughs> My nephew can never leave me and marry you. No, he can never be lost. <laughs> Jesus' mother found out about Papa and has refused to give her consent. Hey. What did she say? She didn't say anything. Her countenance just changed as soon as I mentioned Papa to be my father. Hi. <sighs> what about Obinze? What was the stand? Does it matter? When what concerns the mother is her son's safety. It's well. I think you need to listen to him. It matters what he says, despite what his mother thinks. There's no point. There's no point hearing him out. There's no point. It's okay. You must put yourself together, okay? Physical. You'll be fine. You'll get through this. Okay? Well, if you want to share my heart with me, I'll be glad to have you around. I'll be glad to share your heart with you, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. But I can stay a while here. Good. Good. Don't worry, you'll get through this. You'll be alright. You're my sister and you're very strong. Nugo? You just have to be happy. Shall I watch you? I must tell you, 
That's a new development. You won't believe it. What development? What happened? Who else? If not our father. What has he done again? Don't worry. I'll tell you later, okay? For well, now, you just need to relax and rest. Yes. I know. Nice. You're a good cook. Thank you. And <laughs> mm. <laughs> because who did you say you are again? Ah, uh -uh. Oluchi. But I've told you before. Let her answer. I was not talking to you. Mm. Can I answer your question? I'm Chinedu's wife. You are Chinedu's wife. Yes. How? Since when? How? Your father found me suitable for him. In fact, I'm the best wife for him. Mm. So what are you doing here? Hmm? Why are you not in your so-called husband's house? <coughs> or you don't know the way to his house? Um, I, um, 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 um. He fell all day, Meg, um. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Look, let me tell you. My brother will not marry you. Nedu will not marry you. I will not even support that motion. If you know what is good for you, go and meet that person that brought you to this compound and find out what his plan is. Because if that plan includes making you a second wife, then because this house will not contain you and I. It is either you go with your head or you move out with your legs. Choose one. I don't want to be second wife to anybody. If Nedu I want to marry. If Nedu I want to marry. Will you shut your mouth? If you love me, Maggie, one more day, Kagi. If the plan doesn't be mad, hey, 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 stop. What am I doing? Damn it, you're not swagging me. Am I talking to you? Uh, Liva. Liva, what are you doing? 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 You can drive her away. You are now don't talk no on your family. Drive her away, let me see. This house now belongs to you. You are the only person who has a say in this house. Let me see how you will drive her away. No problem. I won't stop you from staying. You can stay for all you want. Stay. But let me tell you, if you stay here, your stay is in vain. Eu vou para cá. Eu vou nem mais ir. Ah! Por que você me fez isso, amor? Don't, 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 don't mind her. You see, this, this, she's a mad dog. Unfortunately, every mad dog knows the owner except this one. This is your house. Relax. Feel free, and you have got what it takes. And a you for God tell a man ganga. Eh? Feel free. Flaunt it, you have it. See ya. Uh, mad. My brother will marry you. You are my sister in law. I already love you too. I already love you too. Don't worry, my brother will marry you. Don't mind her. This is your house. Chinasa, this is where you belong. Eh? My sister in law. This is your house. This is your house. Okay? 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 My son, it is true I overreacted, but you don't have to blame me. You must not blame me after my experience of losing four sons and my husband in the cold hands of evil. Son, you are all I have, and I cannot allow you to endanger your life whatsoever. No! I am invulnerable. Akonye Wetali is a powerful wizard, that I know. But you of all people should also know that I am beyond human destruction. 
Yes, son, you are right. Yes. You could be vulnerable if nothing is done. And that I will not allow. I cannot take chances. Do you ever put into account my pain? This pain still lingers. Notwithstanding all my mother has done to initiate you into becoming the son of the goddess of our way. Thereby making you indestructible by humans. There are still chances that you could be exposed to danger, son. You can still be exposed to danger. Yes. Mama, your fears are justified. But I need you to take into account my happiness. What is the meaning of life? With all this protection from easy wine, great pieces of Akimiwe without my happiness. I love all of you very much. And I want you to understand that the fear of her father cannot abate this, the feelings that we share. <laughs> I can see you're just coming from the camp. Yes. Um, uh, um, Nedu, I heard about what happened to Nena. It feels so sad. Please, I don't want you to think for too long. Everything will be fine, okay? Thank you. Everything <laughs> is already fine. Yes, of course. Because you can always find love again. A better one for that matter. Okay? Thank you for your company. You are welcome. <laughs> you take care of yourself. Huh? And you too. to see you. Oh, well, I have been very busy with farm work. I hope all is well. Um, yes, all is well. Um, my reason for looking up to see you bears a heavy burden. Okay, I am all ears. Obize, I care about you. Thank you very much. You're very well appreciated. Um, have you seen your sister Oluchi, please? Where can I find her? I see. I believe she's the one you're looking for. Oh, yes, um, she is. And thank the gods I found you here. You will make my walk into the village a very easy one. Let's go. Well, I do not know how we're going about. Okay, I, I guess I'll find her when I get into the village. Oh, be easy. Obinze, I have feelings for you. I can't hide this any longer. I have tried as much as I can to suppress the feelings.
but I can't. Um, in came it will do us a lot of good if you explain to me what you're trying to say. Obinze, I have feelings for you. It boils in me like a wildfire. Um, Nkem, I do not mean to disrespect your feelings for me, but I am sure that you know that your sister and I are bonded in love. I'm very much aware of that, but I believe I stand this chance of winning your love. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. Okay? Make effort to be the master of your feeling. Don't be a slave to it. Please. Think about what I said. irritating words to me. What? I'm begging you, sister. I bared my heart to Obinze. So I believe if you would consider my plea, Obinze would have no choice but to reciprocate my love. 